Good morning, it's Sharla Robinson from the Thunder Bay Chamber of Commerce. I know that there are lots of questions in the community, specifically from business owners, about the announcement by the province yesterday about the emergency declaration and stay at home order. And we're working really hard to try to get answers for you. So I wanted to take a few minutes to walk through the information that we do have in the, uh, in the Facebook um, note. I've also created a link to the direct government document that we have found so far. And we know there's further information to come. So what we don't know yet uh, specifically relates to the stay at home order and what the definition is of essential travel in order to uh, be out and about in the community. And we're working to get those details. But what, here's what we do know. Um, so where and, and how long uh, are these measures in effect? Uh, so the, the, the changes are in effect for all of Ontario and are anticipated at this point to be in place until at least Thursday, February the 11th. So this is an extension of the lockdown that was supposed to originally end on January 23rd. So uh, that is the new date we're looking at at this point. Um, there's a lot of information around the changes to specific businesses. Um, in particular, the government is requiring that persons responsible for a business that is open ensure that any person who performs work conduct their way work, work remotely with limited exceptions where the nature of their work requires them to be on site at the workplace. So basically what that's saying is if your staff and you can work at home, then you need to do that. And the only reason that you should be working in the workplace is because that work cannot be uh, performed at home. Of course, we know that many times you have to still go to your workplace to, to do specific things. And so those are the limitations that the government is saying, stay home and work at home and have your staff work at home, except where there's you know things that have to be done at the workplace. So I hope that helps provide some clarity. Um, there's a lot of questions around um, some of the updated pieces, so uh, we're, we're still working to get clarity on that. Uh, right, what we have right now is that face coverings, every person in the premise of a business or organization that is open shall ensure they wear a mask or face covering. So um, they've certainly uh, taken steps to enhance mask wearing, and we'll see that across many of the items, including for outdoor activities where you cannot be, if people are in line, um, where you cannot be two meters apart or you're not uh, two meters apart, they're requiring face masks. Um, and so putting a lot of uh, emphasis on that piece. And again, we're, we're looking for clarity around the face mask piece, particularly for if you're working in, um, in your business uh, because you need to, um, and yet you're not exposed to other people uh, you know, within a, a two meter distance. So we're working to get more clarity on that. Lots of questions around the changes to retail. Um, so we know that uh, supermarkets, convenience stores, indoor farmers market and stores that primarily sell food are considered essential and are able to be open uh, as well as pharmacies. Um, as well as discount retailers and big box stores that sell groceries. And they do have specific, uh, all of those do have specific uh, capacity limitations. Um, for other, uh, for all those re uh, retailers, of course, there are face covering rules and distancing rules as well. Um, but for those businesses that are not considered essential businesses, so safety supply stores, businesses that, uh, that provide assistive mobility uh, devices, optical stores, um, they are available by appointment only and uh, operating hours of 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. Are, are the restrictions now. And of course, curbside, is, uh, curbside pickup and delivery is permitted. Stores that sell liquor, including beer, wine, and spirits. Um, also, um, operating hours have been limited to 9 a.m. to, from 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. Um, cannabis stores are curbside only with operating hour limits of 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. 
and an item may only be provided for curbside pickup if the patron ordered the item before arriving at the business premise. And we see this also applies to garden centers um, that you have to place the order before you arrive at the premise. So I hope that uh, everyone is making steps to either set up online ordering, ordering by email, phone call ordering, so that you can do the curbside pickup. Um, in addition, uh, motor vehicle sales, their operating hours are, are also within the restriction of 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. Outdoor markets are restricted to the same operating hours. And uh, general retail that is curbside pickup or delivery only. Um, again, the patron needs to order the item before a premise and the operating hours are restricted to 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. Uh, and then finally, there's a lot of detail for construction. Uh, there's a very specific, uh, almost two-page list as to what types of construction are permitted. And that uh, full information is in the link. So if, if you are in any sort of a construction industry, please take a look at that. Um, and, uh, and hopefully that will help to guide whether you are uh, able to proceed with your construction activities or if you are required to pause those construction activities. So I hope this is helpful. Like I said, I know there's still a lot of questions and we do also uh, are, are waiting for more information from the government on the stay at home restrictions and what that means for those non-essential businesses that are providing curbside pickup. What are their restrictions for folks to be able to actually come and do curbside pickup and how does that work? Um, and finally, I want to remind everyone that there are many financial supports available, including the Canada Emergency Business Account of up to $60,000 loan with a $20,000 grant, the Canada Emergency Wage Subsidy with, uh, with significant uh, supports to help with your staff wages, the Canada Emergency Rent Assistance, which again has been changed. And as we are now in this lockdown situation, I believe the maximum um, is up to 90% of, uh, of the costs there. Uh, again, it based, it's based on a, a sliding scale of your business uh, revenue losses. So definitely check our website because all of the links are there and uh, hopefully those supports will be able to assist you. We are also anticipating that the, the Ontario Small Business Grant will be announced in the coming days with applications open. So would encourage, uh, we'll be sharing that information uh, as soon as those applications are open to help you get as much support as possible. So please send us your questions and we'll work to get as many answers as we can. Uh, you're always welcome to reach out to the Chamber Office, either through email or give us a call, 624-2626. We, uh, we're here to, uh, to hear your questions and try to, to help get answers and to make the government aware of, uh, of the questions as they come in if there isn't clarity. So thanks so much, and uh, please stay, stay safe and healthy. Take care.